Hey, Rob. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. You talk a lot. <laughs> I talk blah, 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 blah. You never stop. <laughs> What's going on tonight? What's the entertainment? Uh, well, this evening, we're going to retrofit your older style freight toboggan with uh, our new lashing system. Um, great toboggan, works well. Problem is though, lashing your gear in, you know, you gotta use pieces of paracord or ratchet straps, or frankly, it's, it's a bit of a pain. So with one of the lashing systems installed, uh, it makes it a lot easier because you have basically an installed lashing system uh, ready to go. And what's nice is uh, you can install it on older style freight toboggans that don't have it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna undo these lines. That's step one, we'll undo all these lines because uh, we need to re-thread it with the new hardware installed. Uh, so give me 10, 15 minutes to get these lines off and then uh, we'll go from there. Rob, uh, you were you said that the lines are still frozen and therefore you can't undo the knot. Um, and I gave you one simple way to fix that right. and you you scoffed at me. You said, you, you silly man. You, <laughs> I just said, put it in your mouth and your heat of your body will dissolve the the, the frozen so right. why didn't you put rope in your mouth I'm, just, I'm not used to that i was actually serious <laughs> you put it in your mouth well, I, well I'll put it under your armpit it works in your, in your hand on your hand or your crotch yeah. rob what, what's going on getting the last knot out it, it's midnight <laughs> You want me to film this whole setup for the toboggan and you know if you put the, the line in your mouth and dissolved it like I told you it would have been fine I don't know what to, to tell you or actually if you tucked it under your beard that would work That would have worked would have kept it warm yeah yeah I don't know how you work with this guy Tim he talks way too much Blah 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 the whole entire night. No no no. Oh I got another story for you, Kevin. There we go. Woohoo! We have we've undone all the lines, which is what we needed to do to begin with. So first step. Uh with cams on so all of this is uh reflective. And maybe we'll we'll show that later actually. So if you're out on a trail at night, short days so you can be out at 5 30 in the afternoon actually and it's dark uh people will be able to see you especially if you're using multi-use trails snowmobile trails etc so first piece we're going to thread through this way this goes up at the front of the toboggan so after you've done all your lashings you can cinch it down and then lock it in with that cam step one action Okay, so we have the floating D-ring, or sorry, floating cams in place at the front of the toboggan. This next section here, we're gonna put in a floating two wrench. Oh my God, take two, two wrench. Got our reflective cams in place in the front so we can cinch everything down. In this first section of the toboggan now, we're gonna use a floating two inch D-ring. Are you all right, Tim? You seem a little frustrated. No, man, it's all good. Yeah. I should mention too, what's what's great about this is that, you know, uh, freight toboggans come in all different, the way you sling your lines, there's really no standardized way. There's multiple ways of doing it. Um, so what's nice is that you can adapt that with the lashing system, you can adapt it to whatever, whatever you want to do actually with a, a mixture of the, well, we show you, but with a mixture of things, you can, you know, adapt it to your own personal needs or stylistic preferences. Rob, does Tim get stressed at work? No. No? Never. He's I don't think I've ever seen Tim stressed. He's happy-go-lucky all the time. Yeah. Does he smell like patchouli? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. I find he smells like patchouli a lot. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Oh, every time you go past him, you get this whiff of patchouli. Did he ever tell you about him cutting his dreads off and hanging in a tree in the far north? I saw the video of it actually. Yeah? It's on YouTube. Do you think we should go back to that area uh, uh, as a trip just to see if it's still there? Yeah. 
that'd be uh, I'd do that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but don't tell Tim about it. <laughs> and then you know, sort of. I'm not sure what to do with hair right once we got Give it. Give it to him as a gift. Make tinder out of it. Yeah. Different phase of life. Uh, sorry, I jumped the gun on these floating D rings. I needed to actually not. So the way this uh, toboggan works, you place the hole. I'll show you here. The hole through the cross pieces is drilled through the wood. Uh, so other systems, our newer toboggans have a hole drilled at the bottom. I actually prefer because then you can take your line and loop it over to lash it. With this one, you make knots on either side of the cross piece. Uh, it's just another method of, you know, just another way of doing things. Uh, so I, I need to put those knots in actually before I add those floating D-rings. Rob, do you find this more entertaining than watching Netflix? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> For the cross pieces, yeah. Uh, by cross piece I mean this wooden piece here. Uh, we're gonna install a D-ring with a loop. So there's a specific way of doing this. You wanna end up with your loop looking like kind of folded over like this and then your d-ring will sit up in that kind of crook like that okay so when you thread this through you thread through the one side of your loop and then the other side you fold over so it makes like a v shape yeah, and then make sure you get your D-ring up in there before you do that. So that goes through. Okay, up through the other side. And now when we thread that, we've got that D-ring in place. So when we lash, we've got a good solid lash point there to go from. Cool. Oh, oh, I see. So you're going to now show this knot that I just showed you and pretend that you knew how to do it. Go ahead, Tim. Go on. So we've almost got the lines done. We've got the D-rings and the floating D-rings installed. Uh, this is the harness that you wear to pull the toboggan. So you've kindly tied a fisherman's knot. Fisherman's yes. knot? Yeah. Onto one end. Uh, we're going to thread it through the toboggan, tied to the other end. And then... We will attach the lashing strap and then we're good to go. And then we'll uh, take it outside and shine some flashlights into the dark and... Uh, really? Yeah. And see uh, see you light up like a UFO. Really? There you have it. This is a snowstorm outside. Even better. Okay, so why did you create this? Like, did you all of a sudden have a dream? Two reasons. Having an uh, integrated lashing system beats bungee cords or paracord or I mean your lashing system is here it's always there you don't have to worry about finding lines or undoing knots or so that's a lot easier to begin with then the whole reflective thing was um, from being on multi-use trails in the dark uh, just thinking you know if somebody came whipping along here uh, it'd be nice if they could see us ahead of time you know you're a lot more visible so as a safety feature and again as, as more people get into winter camping and more people are out there um, it's just nice to have some extra safety features in case, yeah. in case. What do you think, Rob? I agree. I'm gonna throw it in there. What's going on, guys? What are we doing? Uh, while well, we're lashing uh, these packs in, and then we're gonna take it down the trail, show uh, what this puppy looks like uh, at night if you're walking a trail. I just thought we'd have a pleasant evening with cocktails in the tent, but no, no! No. Work is never done. Temperature's dropped. Yeah, man. Oh, gotta film Rob. Wait a minute. You're looking... <gasps> Look at that. You're looking like a northerner. <laughs> I'm, I'm toasty warm. When did you start growing that beard? Uh... I've had it for, I haven't seen my face in about five years. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. What? Yes. Uh, do you want to get on this thing? What? Oh, okay. Oh, pretty, actually. 
Okay, rolling. All right, I'm gonna see if this thing works. <laughs> What's going on, Rob? Yeah. Wait, we're all right. <laughs> 